Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. Today we are going to talk about uh, Me Too, Him Too, all the sexual harassment, sexual assault stuff that has come back up in, in conversation because of the Kavanaugh nomination. Um, I'm going to do this a little differently. I'm going to give you some advice on how to even avoid getting in these situations. And right now there's a whole bunch of ladies going, Bo, we've heard it. <laughs> no, you haven't. No, you haven't. You haven't heard this advice. Um, and then there's probably some other people going, this is victim blaming, maybe. Maybe a little, uh, maybe in 2% of cases. Um, but at the same time, if you leave your bicycle in front of the meth head's house and don't put a lock on it, you can't really be surprised when it's not there in the morning. So the advice is simple. First and foremost, safeguard your reputation. If you get a certain kind of reputation, you're going to attract a certain kind of person. Number two, end the dates at the front door. You know, first couple times, I know that sounds old-fashioned, but if you're looking for qual uh, quality over quantity, you're not going to miss out on anything. You'll be all right. Number three, if you're drinking, don't take anybody home. Don't go home with anybody. Don't take anybody home that's been drinking. If you're at a party and everybody's drinking, stay with the party. Don't go off into some room. The last two are the most important. Watch what you say. If you say something sexual, even jokingly, it might be taken as something sexual. Uh, and the last one is definitely the most important. Be very careful with the signals you send. The easiest way to do that is keep your hands to yourself. I mean, that's kindergarten stuff. Put your touching hands in your pockets. Right now, there's a whole bunch of ladies mad at me. In fact, I'm certain there's probably some that stopped and already commented, talking about what a horrible person I am. I'm not talking to ladies. This is for men. Because there's this him too hashtag. A whole bunch of men terrified that they're going to get accused of uh, sexual harassment or sexual assault. If you're that worried about it, it's because you've done something. Um, those, those type of accusations, they turn out to be false about 2% of the time, as near as I can tell. 2%. They're pretty much always true. Uh, so, <clears throat> here's, here's the thing, guys, gentlemen, and I'm using that term loosely with, with the audience that I'm talking to. Uh, if you're that worried about it, there's probably a reason. And anytime it's a woman that has been assaulted, men are always like, well, what did she do to bring it on? What was she, how was she dressed? What's her reputation? Was she drinking? That goes both ways, fellas. That goes both ways. Let's, uh, you know, you always stress accountability, self-accountability. Got to be accountable for her actions. You need to be accountable for yours. Don't, don't put yourself in a situation where you can be falsely accused 2% of the time. Um, now, as far as what a woman wears and, what that imp and how that impacts rape, um, I saw something on Facebook. I'm, I'm telling you now, it's deep and it's dark. It is dark. This is my version of a trigger warning, okay? The miniskirt said, am I really to blame? And the hijab said, no, it happened to me too. And the diaper didn't say anything. Gentlemen, there is one cause of rape, and that's rapists. Y'all have a good day.